In case you're just joining us, it's time for our interview uh, right now. My guest is with me right here. Okay, I don't know if you saw uh, that card which we did put earlier on. I have the Chief Financial Officer, UK Dion, Group Maya Ikwo. Welcome, Mr. Ikwo, on the program. How are you doing today? Fine, nice. Uh, let's start. I guess our viewers may have seen that card on the screen introducing UK Dion Group. Earlier on, I also did say that um we do get that question a lot even on, uh, on the show people send us mails okay where do we put our money uh, do we have reliable or people will want to find out if the investment managers or people they are giving money to are registered or they should go ahead on the premise of that i would like you to introduce what your organization what you guys do you can do on group okay the group yeah. Group of what? <laughs> <laughs> group of companies. companies yeah. Thank you, Nancy. Um, UK Dion uh, Group. We are a group of companies. Um, we have UK Dion Investment Limited, funds and portfolio managers. We have um, Nasarada Beauty the Change. Then we have Dion Homes, that is into real estates. Then we have a microfinance bank that's into retail um, banking uh, to the question that you mm -hmm. asked people are skeptical where do they put their money why would they take money to some places uh, we've seen the likes of mmm mm -hmm. that came and gone mm -hmm. we've seen uh, several uh, ponzi schemes schemes that and came. still existing yeah some of them are mm -hmm. still there with different names I'm with sure different names actually mm -hmm. yeah and um the worst part is some people actually go to CAC, register their company, and so be it. Mm -hmm. But when you are talking about um, an asset manager, somebody managing the world of people, they are being regulated by Securities and Exchange Commission. Just like you have um, the banking sector, the normal banking sector being regulated by CBN. So it's not just enough to go and register a company and say I'm a commercial bank. Mm. And you come out and you start to operate. There are regulators. So when somebody is saying I'm an investment company, I manage people's money. By right, um, Investment Security Act mandates Securities and Exchange Commission to regulate any firm that gathers people's fund and utilize that fund on their behalf. So it's a question that you need to ask, are these people regulated? Mm. For us, UK Dion Investment Limited, we are regulated by Securities and Exchange Commission as fund and portfolio managers. You know, I like that you brought in that aspect because I also know that many Nigerians are culpable and many Nigerians are not aware of that fact. I've had calls say, oh, okay, Nancy, can I invest in this company? Uh, they told me oh, that they are registered in CSA. And I said, that's not the only. Any company can register in CSA. Course, yeah. But then not any company is licensed to take your money. Yes. And invest. So you need to take a step further by even researching yourself, seeking advice is as little as even going on the website of securities and exchange commission or going to even other offices across nigeria of sec i don't work for sec but that's what you should do to find out the companies that are saying they want to invest your money to make gigantic returns if they are indeed licensed regulated by the sec so i like that you brought in that yeah. aspect especially around ponzi schemes and um, the mmm that took a lot of money That's from Nigerians. Really a lot of Nigerians yes. yeah. And we have a lot of MMM in different shades. And, <laughs> with colors. and different shades <laughs> and colors. <laughs> you know. So um for those that are, are watching, um I would like you to speak about the money market rates, for example, because earlier on during my intro I did talk about okay, many Nigerians are complaining now, even me. I don't even see why my money should be so much in the bank. I'm not the, the market in the bank, but if you are into investment or you want to manage your wealth, you must have eyes for those things. So I want you to speak about uh, the money market uh, rates. Okay, that's fine. Um, the money market itself is um, the market where short tenor instruments, instruments uh, that have a life tenor 
below one year one year and below where they are traded then when you're talking about the money market rates you talk about basically the major thing is the treasury bills rates and the treasury bills rate from what we saw last year 2020 was down then this year it was struggling to come up then it rose to 9.75 percent which was highest for this year but the last auction that's about two weeks ago the next auction is going to be tomorrow the last auction the long term not build as a the one of 364 days uh, ended 8.67 percent so it went a little bit lower than the highest it had this year so tomorrow we are hoping that it may maintain the same rate or go a little bit down then now because of that rate every other rate within the money market section is anchored on treasury bills rates invariably the fixed deposit rate is not going to be more than what we have in the treasury bills rate then the money market fund majority of the money market fund if you look at their rate it will be playing around that same rate savings on its own is already very very low because savings is based on npr and pending the outcome of the meeting today, today mm. um the last uh, npr they held it at 11.5 percent and savings is 10 percent of it so invariably savings is 1.15 so when you look at it so that's what your savings rate is at the bank for those that's, yes. that's general savings rate, savings rate yes. at the bank it's 1.15 percent 10 percent of npr mm. they can't give you beyond mm. that then the fixed deposit rate will be playing around that figure the majority of the people who play in that that have their own uh, kind of uh, instrument still trade on treasury bills majorly so they can't give you a rate that will be higher than treasury bills rates definitely so it will be playing around that rate which we have presently at 8.67 percent for 364 um, days based on the treasury bills Okay. The Chief Financial Officer at UK Dion Group is still here. Amy Naya Equal, we're talking about the UK Dion Group and I uh, talk about a lot of analysis uh, in terms of what the savings rate is and uh, the treasury bills rate and all of that. So I want you to speak at, the, at this time around the true yield and make our viewers understand why these numbers <laughs> are very critical. So it's not about you just having money or just putting it away. It's about you taking cognizance of what those numbers mean and so that you can get return on investment. You're not getting negative returns. Yeah. Thank you, Nancy. The truth of the matter in our present economy is this. You can't go in to invest without really looking at the numbers. If you don't, you, it might just be an effort in futility. Right now, as we speak, inflation is 17.75 percent. Then um, the risk-free rate, which is the treasury bills rate that we have just said, is 8.67 percent. Let's assume that you put your money in treasury bills, for instance that is going to give you a return of 8.67 percent and you have inflation that is going to erode your capital your wealth by 17.75 percent at the end of the day what it means is you had a negative return of 9.08 percent that's 17.75 minus the 8.67 minus the 8.67 that you are going to make so in other words you are not making money so i like the way this show is going mathematics in simple terms so that we <laughs> also understand why this is critical so in other words what it means is you are not making money mm -hmm. it seems you are making money there is an interest that you're getting but at the end of the day inflation rate is eroding your purchasing power so what you had before you made that investment and what you're going to have after 
making that investment, we know what you are going to have after that investment will not be able to buy what you ought to have bought before making that investment. That's exactly what it means. So your wealth is being eroded, but on the facial of it, it's as if you are getting interest. Mm. So you need to take cognizance of inflation rates. You really need to take cognizance of inflation rates. Whatsoever you are doing, there are two things that you normally look out for when you want to make an investment. Number one is the rate of the return on investment. If it's not higher than the risk-free rate, then you are wasting much of your time. For instance, I have 100 million naira and if I put it in a business, it's going to give me a return of 6%. I can as well put it in treasury bills, go and sleep. I don't need to waste my effort. Already there is a guaranteed return of 8.67% because the federal government will not default in her obligations. Another thing that you need to look out for is inflation rates. Where am I putting my money? Will it still have the same purchasing power when it comes back. If not, what is going to add to it cumulatively? What am I going to make at the end of that investment? So these are the things that people really need to be looking out for. It's not just about, I want to invest. I'm getting 10%. You put your money there. Inflation is 17.5%. You are losing 7.75% on that same investment. Mm. So where do people like you come in now? For those that have listened to you at least in the last few minutes and it's making sense to them and they've, they've now understood the importance of taking these numbers into perspective and taking a look at, especially those times that I'll be analyzing inflation, inflation, inflation here on the show for you to know, okay, this is what this means and what it means for my money. How do you guys, how does UK do on that? Especially your fund and asset management come in. Yeah, that's where we come in. Um, in UK Investment Limited, we have um, the Ego's Eye. We have a team of professionals that watches and monitors the economy. How is it going? What is happening today? What is going to happen tomorrow? Um, the MPC, they are having their meeting. Mm. What is going to be the outcome of the meeting? What is going to be, how is it going to affect investments how is it going to affect the economy where is the economy tilting towards to what can we do that's the sense of having these professionals to watch then when they watch they come out with informed decisions a kind of a guide for the company we have a research department this research department will be able to say okay do this do this do this do this so with that as a team of professionals whatsoever portfolio we are managing for people is being managed in such a way that their capital is not just being preserved but also we are adding value to it in uk the investment limited we have a mantra we simply add value and that value cannot be added if somebody's wealth is being eroded. So that's where we come in as experts in the industry. Mm. So uh, if for those that are watching and they want to, you know, contact you, I guess the numbers were put on the screen earlier. I think I saw that. Let's quickly put those numbers on the screen so that we, they can uh, reach uh, the UK Dion Investment Limited, especially if you really want to understand more of this. And in case you have, it's not just even idle cash. <laughs> it's not about only idle cash. It's not really about uh, idle, idle cash. It's not really about idle cash. Just like you mentioned, I think there should be the consciousness number one to say okay i need to invest and people should separate investment from savings there are two different things that look so similar savings is when you are putting your money aside for a future use that's savings but investment is a conscious effort that you make in growing what you have 
So if I take my money to the bank and put it in a whatever deposit it is called, with just the mindset, I don't want to touch this money. I want to use it for my house rent next year. It's savings that I'm doing. But when I have that conscious effort that I want to grow this money, that's when I will sit down with my bank and start asking questions. What are you going to give me inside? Mm. You said something now, and I guess, let, let me expand on it. For example, you want to put out some money and you put it in a bank for, for, with what you said. I want to invest for my house rent, which I know I will pay house rent less next year. And I have the money now, and I put it away in the bank. Can it also be invested? I'm not just putting it away in the bank. Can I invest that money hoping that I'm going to pay house rent in six months' time? Or in one year time, I, perhaps I have the money now. Does it make sense to just put it? Or I should invest it with people, that is, organizations? Yeah. In, that kind of in mentality. Investing it, yeah, yes. that's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. We should grow that money. mentality. Like, I need to invest, not mm -hmm. just savings. Mm -hmm. So majority of us, we stop our savings. And those who understand what investment is, they are making more money. We stop our savings. We set money aside for future use. Whereas the money can actually work for you while you're waiting for that time to use the money the money can actually work for you so keeping an idle cash doesn't make any investment sense i have a whole lot of cash i have 300 million sitting out somewhere and it's just there and i feel i'm comfortable the thing is we know we understand that people have different risk appetites that's where professionals come in as well fund advisors so we have to assess you understand your risk appetite where and where you can go to and where and where you will not be able to trade some people now they put their money in stock and anything happens to that stock before you announce it to them you should be announcing their barrier first so when an expert assesses you say so, okay this is where and where and where and where you can go to you can put the money here 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 and you get a guaranteed return so it's now managing you privately giving you a bespoke service compared to what your risk and perhaps your age yeah, yeah considering about. your risk mm -hmm. your age yeah mm -hmm. age is yeah. age is it's very very, very vital important. very very vital you, yeah. you you can't play with the like, risk money yes like, like. yes exactly <laughs> it's very very vital so with talking about age right now does uk group uh Dion group for example offer services not just what class of people really for people that are watching now be like oh okay whether it's for exotic clients or can can your company really manage or manage wealth or help multiply or grow people's wealth or money across different age groups at least if you're an adult you make money you invest money you spend money you save can your group do that yes of course is it just for of course no no it's okay. not it's meant for everybody okay it's meant for everybody so that's why i talked about the private uh, portfolio management so it's meant for everybody D no matter your age group but when you come and you are assessed so when you are assessed whatsoever that is fit for you is given to you mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about the area of technology because especially during COVID, the lockdowns, yep. we saw that many of us were at home for months. I want to ask how perhaps your group is integrating technology into the investment landscape. For people watching right now from across the country and they want to connect with you or they, they are somewhere, let's say in Kano or somewhere in any part of the country or even in any part of the world and they are watching. Must they come to you physically? Have you been able to integrate technology? Must I be physically like in Lagos or Abuja to invest with you guys? I hope you understand what I, I'm saying. I do, yeah. I do, I do. You must not come to us physically. Mm. Okay. Yeah, um, we've leveraged on technology for our business. You can actually um, talk to us. We can actually onboard you from any part of the world in as much as the necessary things are done. The proper know your customer 
so which we must conduct is very very necessary but aside that we've leveraged on technology in the execution of our um, services in offering our services to clients to prospects so you can actually come in from anywhere we can onboard you from anywhere you just need to visit our website mm -hmm. www.ukdion.com so you see what we offer then from there we can onboard you just at the click of a button you are on mm. and also the email i guess the okay that's the website on the screen now for those watching and you want to take advantage of this opportunity the email is also at info at ukdion info at ukdion.com UK UK and our phone numbers are zero eight zero nine one 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 five seven four eight and zero eight zero nine one 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 five seven six eight so, so you can always call on us our experts will our financial experts will pick it up and um take and take it, it take it yeah. up from there let's talk a bit about those uh, perhaps those in the age group of almost retiring <laughs> because i've also heard customs around oh nancy i'm going to retire like in five years and it suddenly don't on them at that time <laughs> that I've not been investing my money or I've been training my children you know and what kind of advice would you give such such people or perhaps those that are watching right now can they take advantage of you know coming to you guys for advice and you creating that kind of bespoke service despite perhaps they're having two years to retire or five years to retire and all of that or perhaps they're also looking forward to even their pensions at the end of at their retirement age what we normally say is there is no time that is too late to start mm. there is no time that is too late to start so even if you are already some of them are even retired and they don't know what to do the truth is this some people spend the whole of their time working and they don't know any other thing apart from what they were doing so when money comes they don't know exactly what to do with the money because they are not used to managing that. So at that point, we still assess you, do proper assessment. They know exactly what is going to fit you, considering who you are, where you are. Can I invest for my children? Mm. Of course, why not? Mm. Because I'm just trying to broaden the scope. <laughs> you know, in terms of, okay, I want to secure a very good financial future for my son or for my children can i just put some money away in terms of investment and just forget that money or begin to grow that money before that child even enters secondary school or even primary school so uk Dion can can do that of course yes okay so i'm just broadening the scope so that our viewers would definitely know that there's investment across all kida yeah. you know age group and or, or, or what have you we have just a few minutes uh, to go i would really like you to talk about uh the real estate market because earlier earlier when you talked about the group is divided into companies yeah. Yeah. your fund uh, asset management your bdc's uh, your microfinance bank and all of that i'm interested in uk dion homes UK, yeah. yeah because i see a lot of estates now springing up everywhere I don't know if your estate is part of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, speak to us about that. Okay. Uh, the UK Dion, the Dion Homes was mm -hmm. actually uh, born to help the accommodation issue, mostly in Lagos. I think it's a little bit better in Abuja here. In Lagos, uh, we try to chase a house that has not been roofed with the house rent. So there is real accommodation issue in that part of the country. Then UK Dion, Ho uh, Dion Homes was actually born to help tackle that. So what we do is um, we acquire properties, either the land itself, some fill, if it has to do with some filling, then develop and sell back at times we acquire already built ones then put it in shape and sell back at times too we help other 
real estate companies like those really those who are those who are having off takers what i mean by off takers is um you already have those who are paying down for the property but normally these days in lagos you see a property a whole building is not owned by one person somebody might have this floor or this flat so when you already have those who are paying and you need funds to complete the own homes can actually come in either run a kind of private partnership with you or a kind of structured finance then take it off from there make sure that the house is put the property is put in order and the off takers can actually pay you off and take ownership of their property so we don't just do it for ourselves alone because we are the, there to help the accommodation problem and we can't solve it alone we strongly believe that we can do it alone so we partner with other estate um, uh, real estate companies as well to see where we can come and partner with them and complete their projects what has it been for like for uh, what has it been like for your clients really especially around Dion home so I would like to know you know our clients definitely they are enjoying mm -hmm. they are enjoying because uh, number one my GMD uh, mr. Michael Diongoli is an expert in that area he's an expert in that area and he gathered a team of professionals who have been in that area for so long who understand the terrain who understand the business and to crown it all our mantra we simply add value that's our core keyword in whatsoever we are doing it's not just about the profits what value like we ask ourselves what value have you added mm. to your so, customers or to, to your, your clients customers, to the society at large to the society yeah. okay just as we round up can you go through again the numbers your email address i know it's on the screen but just go through for those watching and you've considered this uh information you've considered this information you've considered uh his analysis and you're interested even if you're not interested call so that you <laughs> get more information you know anything concerning your money you've got to be very careful don't just be going out to make money to make money you've got to invest that money so just go through okay uh, those numbers and our and website is uh, www.ukdion.com then if you want to send us an email you can send it to info at ukdion.com if you want to contact us you can call us on 0809-111-5748 or you can call us on 0809-111-5768 Thank you very much, Mr. Kwa, for being on the program today. Thank you, Nancy, for having me. It's yeah. a pleasure. All right, I've been speaking with Inaya Kwa, who is the Chief Financial Officer at UK Dion Group. I hope you've watched, listened, not just listened, digested, and make use of the information that you have heard today. I'll see you all again tomorrow, God willing. Be the best you can be and be the change that you want to see. I am Nancy Naji. Bye now.